Wonderful. Well, containers spinning up faster than the blink of an eye. I'll see it when I believe it. I'm going to try that one at home. Our community within CNCF is built up on three main pillars. Uh, our governing board, which manages direction and finances and some overall oversight things like that. Our technical oversight committee manages projects that are incoming, shifting levels and different graduate uh, statuses. And then for a long time, we've said end users are the third pillar, which they are. But for the longest time, we didn't have a body to build that up and to serve as folks that worked within that space. And now we do. At the end of, the last, of last year, we spun up our end user tab. And I'd like to invite uh, end user tab chair, Ayla Lita Sharma, to the stage. Well, take a seat. Keynotes are hard. You know, might as well take a break. I know. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Good morning. How are you? Morning. Um, I'm Alolita, and super happy to be here on behalf of all our end users in the CNCF. Um, I'm from Apple, and I lead observability at Apple for AIML, but um, have been involved in the CNCF for, you know, quite a few years. And I'm super excited that for the first time in many years, uh, we now have a formal body, the end user uh, tab, which is the technical advisory board, to be able to represent the voice of the end user formally. This is really, again, to also, you know, continue to promote um, and conversations across with uh, the end user community, as well as reach out and provide feedback back to the projects, to the TOC, as well as to the governing board of the CNCF to complete the virtuous cycle that all of us end users represent and ratifying the technologies that are built in the open source projects within the CNCF. Like, wonderful, wonderful. Well, you beat me to it. I was going to ask you, your first question was going to be, why? <laughs> Perfect. Hey. Perfect. You nailed it. <laughs> the, the, the next question that I had for you, so that, that's kind of the why and behind the end user tab. What about the, the how? how? How do you and the end user tab think about achieving some of those goals, receiving that end user feedback, and then making ripples within the cloud native ecosystem for end users? Um, uh, again, I think, you know, we have just started this journey formally. Uh, but uh, one of the primary uh, and initial initiatives that we kind of want to uh, dive into is to talk with and, and have conversations with the various end users across the ecosystem, uh, as well as uh, be able to be the body for uh, looking at best practices, recommendations for different project stacks, reference architectures, and also be able to um, provide uh, and highlight uh, case studies of adoption of various technologies in the CNCF back to the larger ecosystem, including the projects. Awesome. I'm excited to work with you on that one. I know, I know. Yeah. I am too. <laughs> uh, the one more question I had about the end user tab is where uh, can people reach out to you? Um, uh, actually, Taylor is the first person it, who can reach out, out to this. you. Yeah. I know, I wouldn't let you go that quickly. <laughs> but uh, you can reach out to me or any of the members on the end user tab, as well as, um, again, um, on the uh, GitHub, uh, we have, an, as, uh, within the CNCF org, we have now a repo for the tab. And um, we will be having, you know, any issues you have, any feedback, any uh, areas and requirements that you're looking to fulfill or any roadmap guidance. Again, please, uh, the, the uh, field is green. Ask away, uh, you know, file the issues. Uh, and, and we are happy to, you know, work with you and uh, go back and forth with the GB as well as DSC and the projects. And, and hopefully provide that valuable link in facilitating those conversations. Again, I'm excited to work yes. with you on that one. Yes. And, and uh, uh, before I forget, actually, the CNCF Slack. We, we also have a tab, a Slack channel, 
which you can actually just join. And um, again, bring your hardest questions to the table. It never ceases to make me laugh that our channel is hashtag tab. So I know. that's yeah. <laughs> so check it out, ask questions, uh, reach out to us. Uh, so I didn't put this one in the slides, but um, I wanted to ask you one more question. Do you want to announce some of the top end user award winners with me? Sure, absolutely. Okay, good. I was worried about that totally, one. Totally looking forward to that one. Awesome, awesome. <laughs> So our top end user award for KubeCon, so we do this every KubeCon, and we really want to recognize exceptional end users within the ecosystem. Now, the way that these awards work is that people nominate um, themselves or other end user organizations, uh, and then after all of those folks have been nominated, uh, the end user community and their voting context vote for the winners. So this year we had three nominations, and uh, I, I wanted to, to roll them back before I roll up the winner. So our uh, first runner-up is uh, Expedia, coming in third place. They've made significant strides in adopting CNCF projects like Kubernetes, Prometheus, and Envoy to enhance their cloud-native capabilities. Their contributions to the community through event participation and commitment, sustainable computing practices are exemplary. Next up is Shopify, and I'll, I'll give you some time to clap for everybody at the <laughs> <I know>. end. <laughs> Next up is Shopify. They have demonstrated incredible scale and reliability powered by an extensive suite of CNCF technologies. Uh, handling nearly 30 petabytes of data and 58 million requests per minute during peak periods is a testament to the mature usage of projects like Kubernetes, OpenTelemetry, and more. Shopify's numerous code contributions and leadership roles within the CNCF make them top contributors. Check out Shopify at second place. CERN's cloud-native journey is truly remarkable. They accelerate much more than particles. Uh, they accelerate cloud-native into the future as well. By leveraging CNCF projects, they orchestrate an extensive infrastructure responsible for storing and processing over 330 petabytes of data. I think that's almost what I have in my iPhoto library at home. <laughs> CERN's adoption of technologies like Kubernetes, Prometheus, and FluentD have enabled the management of 600-plus clusters and thousands of nodes. Uh, with that, I'd like to invite someone from CERN to uh, come up to the stage to accept this award. Uh, congratulations to CERN. All right. <laughs> All right, thank you very much. This is really, like, we're really honored uh, about this. It's uh, really a pleasure to be here. Um, we have our, some of our CERN team there as well, so they can wave. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so it's been, it's been really a, a journey for us, as uh, for many of you as well. It's incredible to see so many people. Uh, we started looking at uh, cloud-native Kubernetes tools a few years ago, uh, many years ago by now. Uh, we have a story that I can summarize quickly, which is we always had big requirements in terms of computing and data processing. We were used to building our own tools in-house and really transitioning and looking out to, to, uh, to the CNCF cloud native and being able to build on the projects that are maintained by thousands and thousands of people has been a huge uh, shift in our culture internally, but one that has brought uh, a lot of good results. Um, I think uh, this, this has been really the, the main lesson we, we took from all of this. Um, I always mention this in my talks and uh, I think I will repeat it here is that um, for us, uh, seeing so many people involved, every, everyone contributing to these projects, everyone, every contribution you do to documentation, maintainers, user feedback, I'm sure you bring a lot to your own organizations, but uh, what I can guarantee is that you're actually making uh, a huge change in the way we do scientific computing. Uh, we spend a lot less time maintaining infrastructure these days, and this allows us to focus a lot more on the science. So it's a huge contribution from everyone, so thank you so much. I 
want to thank all of you and our end user community for bringing all of these innovations. Uh, like Ayla Lita said, uh, feel free to hit us up. Uh, hit me via email, Slack, wherever you can find us if you have any questions on how to get started. Uh, this Friday, not today, but Friday, uh, the end user tab, uh, tab town hall will be taking place. Uh, you'll see some familiar faces there. Um, I'll be there. Bring your questions. Let's have a conversation. Thanks, everybody. See you All next week. Right. Thanks. much, Taylor, Alolita, and congratulations, CERN. Our next sponsored keynote speakers are Michael Hanlick and Fabian Deutsch. Michael is a vice president and technology fellow at Goldman Sachs, and Fabian is an engineering manager at Red Hat. And for their keynote today, we invite you to imagine a symphony where every note is perfectly in sync. At least this is the vision that our cloud native end user Goldman Sachs has for their own applications. Michael and Fabian will discuss how orchestrating a harmonious blend of simplicity and scalability can set the stage for a seamless transition to cloud native development. Please welcome to the stage, Michael and Fabian.